morning, noon, evening or night depending when you're watching this video. My name is a legend and welcome back to World of Tanks and the MBTT replay the series where we feature the best replays of the MBTT clan. And today we have in the turtle mark one Toby Thomas. Again, I okay, okay. In my previous MBTT replay, I said that it was the third time that Toby was featured in a row. Uh, that was actually not true, it was the second time. This is the third time in a row, and by a long shot, because th this guy in, in the third Mark One has, has gone absolutely berserk now. Ever since the beginning of 2023, we implemented a bot on our Discord server, which can save replays and show the results of those replays. Now, this particular replay was not only well, the best for this certain patch, no, it had the highest XP record of the entire clan for the whole year of 2023. And on top of that, in the past year, Toby Thomas is occupying the first four spots with the Turtle Mark 1 on experience earned <laughs> of the entire clan. So, on the one hand, it's of course this player, which is now uh, banned from featuring another particular beta tape replay with the Turtle Mark 1. Because otherwise it's it's just co continuing to be the same guy with the same tank. But well, it's also due to the tank itself. Now, Toby on the map Malinovka has gone, well, the exact correct way. It's only <laughs> the only correct way, let's be honest here, to go on the hill and just clean it up. Like, he has already bounced near 1000 hit points probably more eh, because some got absorbed in his tracks and has already done over two and a half thousand damage but yeah the turtle mark one has been buffed significantly all the way back in august previous year but yeah its top speed got increased with five its reverse speed increased with two so its top speed is now 25 but of course toby is probably running a turbocharger in his tank and that is actually very handy in this situation as he's cleaning up the hill is now in time to counter the bz the bz176 and actually does a very good trick here going for the tracks allowing his teammate to perma track him and him to finish the bz off very good marksmanship going there for the track and it's easier to hit those kinds of shots because the dispersion during movement and hull traverse got increased by 0.07, around 30%. Also, shell standard and special shell penetration got increased as well as the shell velocity, making it also more effective on long ranges, which well, we might see a little bit later. And of course, he has also got the Hash shell, which he very correctly utilizes against that HWK, racking up some more damage right there. So in the previous MBTT replay, we saw Toby in the Krangwan also on this map, but unlike this previous battle, he doesn't go the alternative route of the hill, and that is because in contrary to the previous Krangwangen replay, he has the knowledge and ma the map insight to see that there is no more enemies that are sniping in the forest. So he can easily make his way further. The only tank that well, can be consistently a threat are the tank destroyers with their slightly higher penetration, but the rest, since the Turtle Mark 1 has such incredible armor, it isn't really faced by other tanks. But Toby is a little bit stuck here on the moment, trying to encounter the SU. He might could have been more aggressive, especially after the SU would have fired. And he still got a lot of HP left, so no troubles right there. But when the Obsidian pretty much sacrifices himself in order for Toby to finally progress further and cleans up the rest of this flank. So all the way up to this point, Toby, well, didn't have to face any threats, really. Just going in a straight line, 
utilizing both his armor and his excellent rounds per minute in order to <laughs> clean up everything. And now in the end game, he is still pretty much full HP, which is very important to have in the end game. You are allowed to take more risk, can take more shots. Well, most of the other tanks might have, well, like a charioteer might already be a one shot or not. <laughs> Almost a one shot. So Toby stays in the cap because, well, it's a turtle mark one. It can do a lot of things, but hunting light tanks and the relatively fast tank destroyer, this charioteer, isn't really something you want to do in this vehicle. So instead of that, he's actually trying to lure the light tanks towards him in order to reset the base. LT is proving to be a little bit of a nuisance firing HE, resetting the cap that way. But while well, eventually an LT well, probably doesn't have a lot of HE rounds. So when he has to go back towards regular AP or even APCR, it's still quite hard to pen this vehicle frontally. So in the meantime, it's waiting, waiting when and where the enemy light tanks will appear. So Toby is in no hurry at all, just staying vigilant and trying to be aware of every single direction the light tanks can get towards him. And he reacts quite fast towards the approaching LT. However, when aiming at the LT, he actually mis-aims a little bit. That's a very annoying feature of turretless tank destroyers that if you are in sniper mode, you cannot aim only with your mouse towards a direction outside of your gun arc. It's pretty annoying as time to time, especially when your gun arc is quite limited, which the Turk to Mark 1 has. So when in sniper view, you have to turn your hull by using the A or D keys in order to aim where you want to aim. If if the direction of your target is outside of your gun arc. Now the only turtles tank destroyers that don't have that limitation is the Swedish SDRV tanks when they are in siege mode. But luckily the turtle doesn't have siege mode. Because once again, don't make a broken tank already more broken. And like at first glance, these buffs don't really add up to much. When you first look at it, especially since the Turtle Mark 1 used to be quite below average on performance, but you see that even these amounts of rebalances can really set the whole performance rate of this tank off balance. Now in the meantime, the Charioteer gets dealt with by the SU. Unfortunately, the ELC also deals with the SU in his turn, not even getting spotted. And now it's a 1v1, but Toby has the advantage here. You might say that the ELC has the advantage by knowing where Toby is, but well, in order to counter Toby, the ELC has to get in a certain position to get towards his side. And well, Toby currently is occupying a position where that is all. Oh, it's not completely impossible, but it's highly unlikely to have a correct angle. Now Toby is facing towards the direction that he most likely expects the ELC and it's also the direction where he's most vulnerable at because the other side has this little rock formation where he can hide his ass behind. But the ELC gets from and yet another direction very unexpectedly and goes right in but Toby reacts fast enough to immediately fire back and the ELC tries to get another shot off but underestimate how fast the reload is of the Turtle Mark 1 and gets yet another shot in. Now the ELC is a one shot but if Toby doesn't play his cards correctly and let the ELC outflank him he can get clipped by the ELC as well. So what do you do in this kind of well uh, tricky situation. Well, if you look at the base capture, it is on par with the actual battle timer. I think it's still going to be a win, but Toby does something very smart here. It just backs off trying to get a better angle on the ELC, trying to see if he can just 
via at the smallest presentation of the ELC but it's hard to do that even after a relative small rock formation the ELC is small enough to completely hide behind it but eventually he overestimates the size of his tank and Toby finds a shot finishing off this battle with his ninth kill with over 7000 damage done now once again this replay couldn't be uploaded on what replays for some reason so the only post game results is the one that is featured when this replay got uploaded on our discord server so the amount of base experience earned is 2100 which is the record for 2023 and that's not really surprising because toby did almost seven and a half thousand damage also getting either one or two blind shots in alongside with 3000 block damage and 500 assists yeah, it was pretty much a cleanup, but since he'd done so much damage and he wasn't facing any lower tiers, this accumulated to this absolute XP record. So quite well, the regular battle for Toby, just an outlier on experience earned. However, this is pretty much the standard procedure when he is playing this tank, just going forwards taking the shots, trying to get into a position where he can hide as many weak spots that he has, which is pretty much only the underplate or something like that, and uses his good marksmanship in order to quickly dispose of the enemy tanks. We saw this back on aiming for the tracks on the BZ. By doing that, he couldn't escape on time. And also very good insight how to deal with a 1v1 when you are turretless tank destroyer facing off against that elc just trying to get another angle at him instead of risking not being resetted once again because one more reset and he wouldn't be able to cap out but just by driving back and getting just slightly different angles on that small rock formation even though the elc was seemingly completely covered by it eventually he just saw the smallest opportunity, took it and won. So another great replay from Toby Thomas and well like I said this is <laughs> this is the last time that we will see Toby Thomas in the Turtle Mark 1 because <laughs> the amount of games that he is just on the top of the clan of every single patch with this tank is Quite frankly ridiculous however i think now that he has free marked tank that he won't play it as much anymore so i might be worried for nothing and with that that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time la